Welcome to my short quinoa growing video. Welcome back to my vegan world. Today we're going to harvest quinoa that we grew in pots. I just want to show you how small it starts out. Look how little it is. And then these get bigger. But these ones are not even the real big ones. The big ones are over here. And look, at these are the pots they're in. They're not in huge pots, but look how thick the stem is. It's so thick and so sturdy, and these plants are huge. They just keep going and going and going. And now, I'm gonna harvest. Now this is organic black quinoa that we grew from seed from a Trader Joe's quinoa. And you can see these little black dots right here. We're simply gonna rub them off, and then they're gonna fall into our pot in their container here and then we're gonna filter out these little pods from the actual quinoa so they're not all ready yet but there's some and we don't want it to keep falling out onto the ground so we're gonna try to harvest as much as we can just rubbing it in our fingers and we'll show you how much we get Here's what we got so far. We've been picking for 20, 30 minutes or so. And uh, we got all this. We're finally done. We've been literally harvesting for like four hours almost. And uh, we have quite a bit. We're going to strain it. We have a colander that's going to get at least the big stuff out to kind of do like a first sifting. And here's how the plant looks now. It's a lot more bare, not sure if you can tell. And here's how we're going to strain it. I'm just going to strain it through this. As you can see, it's working. All the little stuff is coming out. And then we'll just be left with the big stuff. And now we're left with leaves and other debris that we can discard. So we let the quinoa mixture dry in the sun for a couple weeks. And now what we're doing is we're using the wind and we're letting the quinoa fall and everything else go away. As you can see, it's working pretty well. There's a bunch on the ground, on the leaves. And uh, we're just using the wind and also when there's no wind, just kind of blowing lightly. And that seems to be working well. After we were done sifting it outside, we did bring it inside. We sifted it a few more times like that. And here's what we're left with. There is some of the outside part and the technique we're going to use to clean that is to put this in water and let the quinoa sink and these green parts float. We haven't done that yet, but as soon as we do, um, then we'll be able to eat it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.